We have with us uh, today, and we are privileged to have Mr. Karavis. Is that correct? Correct. Mr. Mr. Karavis, welcome uh, to this brief uh, interaction. Uh, you have been a, a sort of a major uh, supporter and indeed it says strategic sponsor. So your bank, Eurobank, has been a strategic sponsor for Horasis. Uh, I know you're the leading bank over here and one of the premier banks in Europe. Um, but it will be nice to get your thoughts on how you see uh, Greece and India working together for mutual benefit in, in business and other areas. So can I have your first sure. response on this please? Rajiv, thank you very much for this uh, question. It, indeed, we are excited to be the strategic uh, sponsor of uh, today's event, uh, Horasis India in Athens 2024. And um, uh, as a bank, we're working to, to see how we can improve the business relationships uh, between uh, Greece and India. Uh, back in October of 2023, your uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Mondi, visited uh, Athens. And uh, as a follow-up to that, the Greek Prime Minister visited uh, Delhi in February of 2024. And therefore, there is a political will and wish to increase the business ties between uh, the two countries. So, uh, there are different areas uh, in which the two countries uh, could work together, but I would like to focus on networks and networks for the flow of goods, networks for the flow of data, and networks for the corporate flows. And let me elaborate what I mean with uh, each of them. Um, everybody is familiar with IMEC, the India Middle East uh, Europe Corridor. And this is a corridor for the flow of goods. Greece could play an important role uh, in this um, idea, in this corridor, as it is in the end of the corridor, and could add a lot of value with the ports that uh, Greece has in the Mediterranean. It is not only Piraeus port, but there exists also the Salonika port, the port of Volos, and so on and so forth. Um, Ports are important, but uh, logistics uh, comes next to the ports. This is a sector of the Greek economy that uh, is growing very nicely. Uh, we see investments and therefore uh, logistics uh, will support the flow of goods between uh, India and Greece. So this is uh, number one. Number two is the flow of data, which nowadays maybe is even more important than the flow of uh, goods. So, in parallel with the idea of IMEC, there is um, another sort of corridor or cable for the transfer of data all the way from Singapore to India, to Middle East, Israel, and then to MED. And this is the EMC, the, the East to MED uh, corridor. Uh, there are two branches on this corridor, the west branch and the uh, east branch. The west from Saudi Arabia to Med is under construction and Greece participates in this corridor through one of the major Greek energy companies, PPC. Uh, there are discussions about the development of the east part of uh, EMC and it would be very nice if any of the major Indian companies, either in the sector of energy or the sector of uh, telecoms, participates in this uh, joint venture. So this could be uh, certainly areas of collaboration where uh, in, an Indian partner comes and invests and get involved with the project. Uh, but uh, as a bank, you, you are present in so many European countries. Uh, it'll be nice to know uh, two things. A, when are you planning to come to India uh, with a rep or branch or any, any sort of physical presence? Point number one. And point number two, how will you use that base of yours in India to help uh, promote collaborations, uh, be they financial or be they technology or in any other areas in terms of bringing people together, bringing business together, bringing joint ventures together, 
bringing trade or increasing trade flows. Okay, so this, uh, this question brings me to the third network that, that I had uh, in mind. So the first was about the, the flow of goods, the second about the, f the flow data. of data, the third is about the corporate flows. Um, although there are a lot of opportunities in uh, India as we speak, I think more and more large Indian companies are thinking to uh, doing business in the EU, in Europe. Um, you mentioned before that uh, Eurobank has a footprint to other countries as well. One of them is uh, Cyprus, where we operate the largest uh, local bank. And Cyprus is um, a country that could become the gateway uh, of Indian companies to Europe for a number of reasons. First of all, um, India, uh, sorry, Cyprus is a Commonwealth country like India. Uh, it is a common law jurisdiction. Actually, the corporate law is very similar to the Indian uh, law. It is uh, a country with a long tradition of welcoming foreign companies that want to do business in, uh, in Europe, across Europe. It has a very good infrastructure of professional services. People educated mainly in the UK. The business language is English and also there is the geographical proximity towards uh, India and Middle East compared to any other uh, European country. So uh, Cyprus could play this role. Now, how we could promote this idea? There is an issue of awareness because uh, I'm not sure how many people in India, how many businesses in India are aware about this benefit. Not, not many, I'll not many. You that. Not many. So in order to uh, promote awareness, we're planning to have a permanent a presence in Mumbai. We are opening a rep office. We are now in the process of getting all the approvals. Hopefully before year end or in the beginning of 2025, we should have a, a rep office in Mumbai trying to promote uh, this idea, but overall to promote the idea of networks that I described um, about the relationship between Greece, Cyprus and uh, India. And also we are teaming up with all the major Indian chambers to promote the ideas that I just discussed with you. W wonderful, wonderful. Well, we, we wait to welcome you very warmly in India and, and I'm sure Eurobank will uh, do a lot uh, and act as a strong catalyst for developing uh, growth and, uh, uh, and collaborations between our two countries. Perhaps w one uh, last uh, closing question would be, uh, which areas uh, do you feel promise or have the greatest promise for uh, successful collaboration between our two countries? Um, effectively, it is the, the areas that I already mentioned. So um, Greece uh, has a very strong uh, industry in shipping. It's one of the major yes. uh, countries globally. Uh, so uh, shipping is one area where the two countries could collaborate. The Greek ports could be a destination for the Indian goods uh, coming either through uh, IMEC or even through the Red Sea and the Suez uh, uh, Canal. Um, logistics is another area. Uh, for the flow of data, uh, data uh, houses uh, is another sector of the Greek uh, economy that is growing uh, uh, fast. Uh, so these are areas where we can uh, work together. An another area which I'd like to have your views, you know, India is spend Indians uh, are spending this year $20 billion in uh, overseas tourism. That is Indians going overseas. Uh, and uh, Greek and Greece, your country is really beautiful and very well positioned uh, to, to sort of take, capture part of that market. So $20 billion is, is a good market and uh, a lot of that comes to Europe in any case. So I think uh, maybe uh, perhaps that could be also done through, uh, through a proper focus of hotel to hotel cooperation, travel agents to travel agents uh, cooperation and indeed ultimately having direct uh, connectivity through airlines. You're That's the fastest corridor. We're right. talking of right. corridors. But Rajiv, you are perfectly right. 
um, the Greek uh, tourism uh, industry is world class. Yes. Um, uh, we have major brands uh, like Four Seasons, one and only, already operating in, um, in Greece. What is missing in order to develop this corridor is to have direct flights yes. uh, from Delhi or Mumbai uh, or any other Indian city to Athens. This is something um, in which Aegean, which is the Greek um, airline, is working and hopefully by 2026 is going to be in place. So direct flights to Greece. Well, I think that uh, ending on a positive note and let's hope the airline is in place and also we have a reciprocity from India and the Indian airlines uh, come in, uh, into play over here in a more aggressive fashion. So thank you very much. It's uh, delightful getting your thoughts and views uh, on this event of the uh, Horasis India Global Summit.